Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to the Guild 3, where last time we began to move away from providing just services, so things like haircuts and lovely big hot bubbly baths and music and all that kind of stuff, and we began making our own items to sell. So over here at Big and Bubbly, the staff have been set to automate production and they decided to work on a very good range of things. So they decided to work on some bat's blood, which is a little bit weird, it doesn't sound like the most desirable of products really does it, but I don't know, maybe bat's blood was a great big huge hit, kind of a must have item in 15th century Visby. So the staff have decided to make some bats bud and that's fine, who am I to argue? And they're also making some grease paint and some rose water and some barber soap and some jasmine oil. So a good range of products and I think it's working. I think Big and Bubbly is now making some very, very good money indeed. We've got some items down here in the shop front, which is very handy. So what's that? Four lots of rose water and four lots of grease paint. And they're making some good money on their own. I mean, if we look at that there, the Loma London market is selling the grease paint at 102 gold a piece. So right there, what have we got? 408 gold just kind of sitting there, not doing anything right now, but people can come in and buy the stuff. That's going to make us some good money. The rose water isn't quite as good, but yeah, 62 money a piece. So again, that's pretty good going. That's some good kind of profit that we can make from these. And of course, we can gather all these kind of ingredients fairly easily from just a few places around the corner. So we can actually you know, make this stuff almost for free, I would say. It takes a bit of time and a bit of investment in wages, but we can make this stuff for free and then we can just sell it on to people and it's making some very, very good money. And of course, about the barber soap and the jasmine oil, they're used in our treatments. So the barber soap used in hair cutting, jasmine oil used in the lovely great big hot bubbly bass, and that means we can charge more money for those treatments as well. So all in all, Big and Bubbly is doing very, very well for itself. So I think now we need to replicate this entire process over at the hair port. However, first things first, actually, let's make sure that we actually get the maximum number of service workers up to four because we have four people. And that means if there is a bit of a queue, if there is a little bit of a queue over here at Big and Bubbly of people, you know, wanting to get into the bath or have their hair cut or whatever, then we can have four people tending to those sort of customers to make sure the queue doesn't get too big. So there we go. And now, yeah, I think we replicate this entire process over at the hair port. So I think we can just kind of flick through here, can't we? So hang on, where's the hair port? There it is. So at the moment, yeah, the hair port doing nothing at all making no items. They are just treating sort of uh, customers. They're cutting hair and bubble bathing people, but they're not making anything, which I think is not good. So I think, yeah, we need to go to the add-ons and we need to get another worker slot. So here we go. This is going to be quite expensive. So, okay, we can have four workers. So let's hire a new worker for another 200 money. And I know we want to save our money and kind of, you know, climb up the social ladder, but yeah, I think we have to, you know, we've got to sort of invest to then get more money in the long term. So there we go. So we have a new person. So we've got another axle. There's a lot of axles around the place. You can tend to customers, I think. Uh, well, no, we don't drag that on you. Hang on. So you go and tend to customers. There we go. And then can we set you lot to automate production as well? So what have you decided to make over here at the airport? You're making some barber soap, some jasmine oil, some grease paint, more bat blood, very popular, and some rose water. Okay, that's fine. That's all very good stuff. And I think that's really good. I think that should make a great big pile of money in the long run. And I think whilst we're here, what have we got? 3,337 monies. Have we maxed everything else out? Are we making the most of our places? So over here at So Healthy, hang on, hang on. Let's go over to So Healthy. Because I think So Healthy does need a little bit of TLC. So there we go. So healthy is over here. Let's go back into it. And um, we did tell them to try and make some stuff. We said, hey, can you please make some flea away? And what are they making there? Some bandages and some fever syrup because they are set to automate. However, these things here require ingredients. So we are going to have to get ourselves a transporter to nip out to the market to buy these things so they can make them so we can sell them on. But, I mean, they do make a lot of money. Look at that, one lot of fever syrup can make anything between 97 and 107 money. That's very good going. So I think to sort this place out, let's get ourselves, hang on, let's up that as well, three people. Oh, did we do that at the other place? Hang on, hang on a second. Did we do that over at the airport? Four workers, yes, we did. Um, yeah, so back to so healthy. So I think we get ourselves a transporter. So yes, that's going to cost 350 money. They're more expensive than the workers. Okay, so get a transporter. Yes, please. And this is Tindra. Okay, so Tindra, what we're going to do with you is you're going to come over here for now, pop over to the uh, to the market, 
because we want to go over here and get you some transportery things. So namely protection and possibly a bag as well, but some sort of like weapon or a sword or something might be quite handy. So let's have a look. So transport, what have we got? 3,300 money. We could, we could get you a cart. That'd be quite good. We could get you a cart, which would speed thing. Oh, hang on, no. It slows things down. Minus 10% speed. Do you know what? I think we'll be okay with a bag. Let's just get you a bag. Just have a nice sort of regular bag. One of those, please. And then weapons and armor. I think we get you oh, those kind of... The leather gloves are quite good. Plus one armor, plus one defense. I embrace us. Plus 10 armor. Um, I mean, what do we go for? We do want to keep you safe, but I don't think you're going to be traveling that far. So have some leather gloves because that's nice and straightforward, even though they're very expensive. But there we go. And what have you got there? Transporter clothing. OK, can we buy some better clothing? Uh, right, let's get you a dagger because they're nice and cheap. In fact, hang on. Did we not have a different type of dagger last time? Did we not have a different type of dagger? Shadow dagger. Yeah, they seem quite good. Let's have one of those. We'll buy you one of those. Uh, we are working our way through the money. And then clothing-wise, can we get anything that gives you a bit of a better deal? Because you are going to be doing some trading and such like Tindra. So at the moment, you've got plus 1% speed. It'd be quite good if we could get... Yeah, like that, look. How much is that? Free citizen's garb, 10 armor, 3 resistance, plus 8 bonus when bargaining, which is what you're going to be doing quite a lot. It is quite expensive right now, but I think that could save us a great big pile of money in the long run. Is there anything else that gives us any kind of bonuses to sort of bargaining? Uh, that's plus three bonus for 960. I'd rather spend a little bit more money and get a plus eight bonus. Yeah, do you know what? We'll do that. There we go. Right, so we have kind of leveled you up a bit there, Tindra. You've gone from hardly anything to all sorts of very fancy things. So, you know, you should feel quite treated. Not everybody got that kind of fancy gear going on. And now... I think we can tell you, hang on, how do we tell you to go and do the regular stuff? Go to here, go to here, and tell you, yeah, there you go. Right, so resume working. You're going to adhere to the storage rules, which are, hang on a minute, storage rules. So fever syrup, what's this here? So minimum storage of five. So always try to have, what's that? Always try to have five of those. 20 cloth, yes, we'll go and buy that. Hang on, what's that there for? Hang on, what's this? Sell. So if you uncheck this option, the transporter will never sell this item. Okay, right. Okay, right. I see what's going on. So we leave five in stock to go into the front, sort of the front store. Anything above five, we'll take to the market to sell. Okay, that's fine. Uh, cloth, 20 of that, please. And is that a buy? Yeah. So I want to procure cloth. Uh, flee away, sell over two. So I have two in the front store, sell any more than that. Plant essence. Okay. Don't think we need to worry about that right now. Honey, yeah, we can go and pick that up for free, but that's fine. We'll buy some honey in. I'm sure we can make some good money in the long run on that. Yeah, so buy that in. Spirit of wine, clay pots, wool, swamp root, and bandages. Okay, so bring that down to five. So keep five bandages in the front store and sell anything extra. Yeah, okay, right. Let's see what they do with that then. In fact, you know what? Let's move time on. Let's see if we can see where they go. So have they just bought a load of stuff? Because I imagine they should be going to the nearest market. Surely they go to the nearest market. Okay, here we go. So she's come back in here and she's going, right, hang on. What have we got in stock, folks? Let's have a look around. And she's adhering to the storage rules by not doing anything. There you are. Is that you? Yes. No, that's a turn. That's a building. Hang on a minute. You just, no, you there. Hang on. Right, hang on a minute. Slow time down. <laughs> Is that you just there? And there's Ulrika making a huge pile of money. Well done. Yeah, there's Tindra. There's Tindra the transporter. So she's going into there. She has spent 1,579 money on stuff. Okay, that's quite a lot of money. Uh, Ulrika, <laughs> get playing. Get playing some music, please, because now it seems we need all the money we can get because our Tindra, uh, our transporter Tindra just went and spent all our cash. Okay, okay, that was quite a lot. What do you now have upon your person? You've bought 20 clay pots and nine spirits of wine. Okay, can you bring it back to the pest house so they can actually get on with doing some stuff? Uh, what on earth do they do with that? That is flee away. And yeah, is that all they do? I think they're making flee away. That's a really, really expensive investment on that. My goodness me, I hope that proves to sell very well. 
because that's really expensive. Um, okay, good. That's fine. That's fine. Right, let's move time on a bit. Oh my goodness me, we're down to 90 monies. <laughs> Can everybody just do things more, you know, do things quicker? Or Rika play more music, hair cutting people just cut hair quicker. Let's just you know, try and get the money kind of creeping back up a little bit because that's not good. That's very, very low indeed. Okay, but this is fine, look. Ulrika's gathering a little bit of a crowd. She's got a few people watching her. In fact, that's five people watching her right now. And our reputation is going up. Look at that. It's creeping up all over the place. Look, oh, it's going up. It's going up loads. It's going up loads. That is brilliant. Okay. Okay. Hang on a minute. Hang on. So what is our current reputation over here? Where are we? Just there. Um, go to popularity. This is the old town, isn't it? So current relations score of 25, 26. It's creeping up. Okay. Right. Ulrika is now a little bit sort of, you know, maybe she's becoming a little bit more famous and renowned for her music because yeah, that is flying up. Okay, that's another two points there. Let's see what it looks like when she finishes her current sort of a current number, if you like. A couple of people watching, or three, four people maybe watching now. Uh, oh, we've been interrupted, I think. Uh, what a beautiful sack full of coins. I think it fits perfectly in your hand. You really think, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you trying to bribe us, Philippa Terrelson? Are you trying to bribe us? And we've just said no. Is that what's happening? Bribe an official. <gasps> Oh, because yes, we are now an official. Of course, we are down here. We're a town clerk. Hopefully soon to become a town, uh, council informer. That'd be good. But yeah, you're trying to bribe us. Oh, well, that's not very good, is it? Well, someone's praised us as well. Uh, Ola Terrelson. Oh, okay. So Ola Terrelson praised us and Philippa Terrelson tried to bribe us with a great big pile of cash. Um, okay, so we said get lost. Did we actually take... <gasps> Oh my word. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> she just gave us 5,000 monies. Oh my goodness me. That is, that's ridiculous. Um, so our reputation has gone down quite a bit with there. Is that right? Minus 23 between us and them. Oh, hang on, which ones are they? They're these. Um, I, I still think we're getting on pretty well. But she just gave us 5,000 money. Wow. Okay, right. Money is sorted. Uh, have some time off, everybody. Go and have a lie down or something. Oh, wow. Uh, right. Okay, this is very good. This means we can sort of treat ourselves and maybe start upgrading things over here a little bit. So, for example, the front store, I know, add-ons. Can we do anything here? So how about, what if we make the front store space a bit bigger? Or do we get fire protection, a bit more storage space? Building security might be a good thing. However, what's that? Productivity. Oh yeah, let's get that. Let's increase productivity in all of our places. That seems like a good, sensible thing. So yeah, that's our house. Not so bothered about that. Right, loot and flute. I don't think we can make productivity go up here, can we? Um, no, let's get some fire protection then, because I kind of feel like we need to do something. Hey, nonny nonny, you can have fire protection. Uh, the hair port, yeah, that's got to have productivity. Yeah, okay, so 600 money on that. And then over here at Big and Bubbly, 600 money on that. And we've still got three grand left. Okay, that's looking very good. Do we make our front store and our storages a bit bigger in our barber shops? Just so they can hold a few more ingredients and then sell a few more things at the front store. I think that might be worth doing as well. So hang on a minute. So front store space. No, what another slot? Front store slots. It costs a grand. Oh, it costs a grand. Okay, do you know what? We'll do it. So big and bubbly and the hair port can now sell three things in the, uh, four things in the front store. Oh, okay. That's really good. Okay. And then we'll keep the 1000 money. Uh, okay. Okay. So we did just spend some money there that did come from kind of, you know, a bribery attempt, but that's fine. That's fine. We did, we had no choice but to accept it. The game kind of forced it upon us. So I like to think that we've invested it wisely, which is all very good. Um, okay. I'm, I'm amazed. Right. Let's get this kind of performance done then, because I think, did the other performance finish? I don't think it did. I think we got interrupted in the middle of it. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Somebody's leveled up, which is very good. Um, somebody over here. Oh, there's a couple of people. There are a couple of people over here. Um, okay, how about now? A few people have been saying get dexterity up of people over here in our sort of uh, barber shops. And yeah, the barber's garb does give plus one dexterity. So, do you know what? 
yeah, why not? Let's have point of dexterity for you and uh, Axel, one of our Axels, a point of dexterity for you as well, which is very good. There is a vacant office. I don't know where that is. A gate guard job, possibly. Uh, okay, look, when do we hear about this one? When do we hear about this? Uh, 1424. So in a couple of years time, uh, just after lunch. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. So we have applied for that. So that's good. Is anybody else leveled up that we've not noticed? Is anything else going on with our sort of uh, place over here? Where is the airport? Um, no, nothing going on at the airport. And I don't imagine any of the other people have leveled up over here, have they? Let's go have a quick check. Nope, not over there. Can we get another worker over here? Hang on. I thought we checked that. Hang on. Have we not got maximum workers? Oh, yeah, we haven't over here, but we probably should max out the workers at our minstrel tents as well, just to make sure that we're earning all the money that we can. We are down to 27 money right now. <laughs> oh, dear. OK, right, hang on, hang on. Where's all that money going? I imagine it's going over here, is it? Where, I imagine that money's going all the way over here. Well, there's Custer Cream doing a spot of uh, doing a spot of building praising. Well done, you. Um, yeah, is it because we're spending so much money on all these ingredients? On wool and cloth and swamp root and flee away and all these other terrible sounding things? I imagine it is. And we still can't make the... What's that? We still can't make bandages because we need two wool. Oh, crikeys. Okay, right. So we are sort of spending quite a lot of money on So Healthy, but hopefully it can produce a good lot of money in return. Oh, look at that. One lot of flea away will sell for 335. Okay, so it takes a little bit of money to get that set up, but then when it's actually manufactured, it will make a huge big pile of cash. Okay, right, so we might be low on money for a while until that place starts producing items. Okay, look, that's fine. That seems absolutely fine. So let's move time on again. Let's make sure that Ulrika is over here still playing the music. How's Hugo? Hugo's, um, what's Hugo doing? Just, yep, still going around the place boasting. Custard Cream is doing some of the good old sort of uh, business promoting. What could, um, hang on, where are you? Was it, was it um, Digestive? Digestive was over here. Yeah, there you are, Digestive. What could you be doing? You could be doing something. What's that mean? Oh yeah, make right hand and make left hand. Don't really know what that means. I'm not going to press those buttons because it might do something weird. Um, I think what you can do now is, I mean, yeah, what can you actually get up to? What do we need over here? Um, what makes? What do we need the honey for? The honey is for the rose water. So what you could do is, do you know what? Where are you? Digestive. Come over here and pop over to, is it the brushwood that's got the honey in it? Uh, no, it is not. Uh, which one's got the honey in it? These places are all very confusing. Is it there? The grove. Yeah, so the grove has got the honey in it. So you go over to that grove instead, please. Change of plans. Pop over to the grove. Hang on. Get there anytime you like. Run a bit quicker, digestive. There you go. And you can gather a great big pile of honey. There you go. Gather, uh, yeah, f gather 40 lots. Gather 40 lots of honey, please. There we go. That'll keep you busy for a good long time. The Taralfsons have acquired a new title. Okay, hang on. Which ones are the Taralfsons again? It's... Oh, it's them. Okay, it's the ones that just paid us a huge big pile of money. They are now citizens. Okay, so they've joined us on kind of the citizen level. So just to remind us... Oh my goodness me. Yeah, the Lassesons are patricians now. Uh, the Brodesons are free citizens. The Emilsons... Our citizens and Martins are free citizens. Taralsons are just citizens. And then, yeah, the Hansons are lagging a little bit behind now. They are just residents. But do you know what? They're still lovely. And well done, you. You should be very proud of what you've achieved. Okay, right. There we go. Let's just let uh, let's let Digestive go and gather a load of honey. Oh, hang on a minute. Ulrika isn't playing any music. Hang on. Go over here and play some more music. Now, how has that been sort of... Uh, how's it been working in terms of popularity? So, in Old Town, it was on 25 not that long ago. It's now on 37. Ulrika's just doing some really, really good kind of PR stuff by just playing music. Another 941 money <laughs> spent by Tindra there. Ouch. I'm buying a massive load of wool and cloth. Okay, right, yeah. So now we can make bandages over here as well. 
It's just that all of the outgoings are really, really costly at first. Um, yeah, okay, fine. I'm sure it'll sort of pan out eventually. And somebody has leveled up. It's Axel. It's another Axel over at the hairpaw. Um, you have got a dexterity of six, which is good. You do also have an intelligence of one. So let's make you a little bit, a little bit brighter. There we go. Well done, Axel. And let's clear all these things down here as well, because we don't want to see all these kind of things. Oh my goodness me. I haven't cleared that for a long while. Okay. This is all good. Oh, I've just told Axel to moot. Axel, no, sorry. <laughs> Axel, I've confused you. I do apologise, Axel. Um, oh, Axel's gone home to bed. Okay, do you know what? Fair enough, Axel. Absolutely, it's quite late in the day. Oh, hang on a minute. I think Ulrika has been interrupted once again by somebody. Um, okay, it's Philippa. Again, Philippa is doing what? She's talking to us. Oh, she's trying to do the PR thing on us. So yeah, Ulrika was very happily just playing away there and then Philippa has come along and interrupted. And now there's a great big kind of conversation going on in the middle here. Um, yeah, that didn't work. So we kind of fell out a bit there with the two Ralphsons. And now, because we did get interrupted... Hang on, what? A member of our family has died? What? Who? Hugo! <laughs> oh, Hugo! Hugo's died. Ulrika has lost her husband. Oh, Hugo, what happened? Where, where, where is Hugo? We've got no idea where he is. Oh, that's really sad. We can't go and find him or anything. We've got no idea where Hugo's body is. It's just around somewhere. And because he was going around the place boasting about how great he is, we've got no idea where he could have fallen. I mean, I assume it didn't say he was murdered or whatever. And we didn't get any alert saying, yep, you know, he's in trouble. He's being attacked. He's been stabbed. He's ill or whatever. I assume it was just old age. I assume old age just caught up. 49. I mean, it is 1422. I mean, that's a potentially kind of about right for that kind of era. But that's, oh, that's really sad. Oh, Ulrika. <laughs> oh, Ulrika, this is really awful. Now, what do we do with Ulrika? Do we remarry Ulrika? Or do we just sort of, uh, do we just leave it as it is? I think, I think we'll leave it. I think she's she's heartbroken enough as it is at the death of her husband. I don't think she's going to go and marry again. I, that's that's not what she wants to do. She's now going to dedicate herself to her music and her children. I think that's what it is. And the dynasty, of course. Um, can we add another family member? Oh yeah, we can now add digestive in there. So we can see that digestive is gathering honey and custard cream is just promoting the business. Right, we might need possibly digestive once he's finished gathering that honey we might need you to go and start boasting about how great we are because we haven't got we haven't got dad to do that anymore oh and you two as well this is really sad custard cream and digestive without their dad oh well well farewell hugo that was a uh, that was completely out of the blue um right oh that's that's shaking things up a bit oh poor old rika as well okay hang on how old are you old rika you're 40 so you've got what a few more years hopefully left in you, you know, if your you know, your husband's sort of lifespan is anything to go by. Now, of course, we do have these sort of life candle things here. And if we do give them points of strength, that does give them a little bit more life. Ulrika's life candle does look okay. That looks okay. Digestives is very big, and custard creams is not quite as big, but you've got a few more years on your brother. So okay, that's fine. And there we go then. That's that's really sad. Farewell, Hugo, wherever you might be on the map. I've got no idea. <laughs> you will be slowly sinking into the floor somewhere on the map. But yeah, we'll never know. We'll never know where you were. I mean, if I could, you know, want to dedicate the time, we could zoom over every single piece of road on the entire map and try and find him. But let's just say that some kind soul found him and, I know, took him to the church and he's buried in the church. He would be buried kind of over here, wouldn't he? He'd be buried over here in the church over of St. Sebastian. So yes, there we go. And he's had a lovely service. And it's all very sad. Oh, there we go. Oh, however, just to, you know, to offset the bad news a little bit, Bourbon has leveled up. Yay. Um, how about you have... Uh, I mean, you're very good. Have a point of, I don't know, dexterity. Because that's a good thing to have, as well as intelligence. Okay, there we go. Right, well, so we say farewell to our first character, and it was Hugo.
Well, there you go. Bye-bye, Hugo. Cheerio. But uh, yeah, life goes on for the rest of the Biscuits dynasty, so let's just see how we get on. And it is spring of the year 1424. Ulrika has just completed another little kind of musical ditty. People are giving us money. It's all wonderful. We've got 2,172 money. You go down here and play some more music, please. Yeah, we don't really have that much to do right now except sort of, you know, run time on, let Ulrika play some music. We kind of need the businesses to open up so we can get that money creeping back up. Uh, however, Digestive has now finished gathering honey over here in this grove. So how about we take, uh, yeah, take that all the way back to over here, please. So come back over here, Digestive. And you drop that honey off here so they can make the, is it the rose water? The need of the honey? Hang on, we shall see in a second. So slow time down. I think it was the rose water. Yeah, that needed the honey. So you deposit all that honey over here. So yes, all the honey can go into there. So there's loads of it there now. So one honey is required to make rose water. So they can now make 50 lots of rose water in there with the other ingredients that they can get themselves. So that's a good thing. And then I think digestive. Go and do that again. Go and grab 60 lots of that again. We'll take that over to the airport and then you can go and do the boasting thing i think that's going to be your best kind of use hang on a minute ulrika's finished she's not doing music you keep making money ulrika right hang on a second right you do that and we'll have 60 please grab 60 lots of honey that is your job now you're like a sort of a, a beekeeper um and yep yeah, ulrika pop over to there play some music of course okay ulrika just finishing up and that went very well look at that that was a lot of money coming in. That is very welcome indeed. And it's coming up to four o'clock, which I think is when all the businesses should open up. So yeah, hopefully now, with some good items over here... Yeah, there we go. Everyone's back into it, which is good. So hopefully, yeah, we've got all sorts of items in here. So are we taking... Are we taking all that to the front? No, there you go. The front store's got some of that stuff in, some of the uh, flee away stuff. So hopefully... Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Something's happening to Ulrika again. She's been interrupted another time. Who's interrupted her this time? Um, hello. An office holder has to make difficult decisions. I hope my gift will make this process easier for you. Is this an attempt at bribery? It will be right to accept it. I make my decisions with a free and open mind. Okay, so hang on. Who's trying to bribe us now? So Thorge, one of the Brodersons, is trying to bribe us. But I don't think we have any option. We don't have a choice to accept or kind of decline this bribe. We just, are we going to get given another huge big pile of money? Because I'm I'm fine with that. <laughs> Ulrika is open to great big piles of money. It's always very nice to have big piles of money. I don't quite know what they're getting from it. Um, can we see? If we do that, can we see what they get? Um, they get, uh, ah yeah, there you go. We could give them five, another five grand, which is beautiful. And, um, and yeah, they get a great big pile of influence, which is very good. Okay. Right, we're back up to 6,700 money. Production has been halted because of a shortage of space. Um, okay, digestive. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Digestive, have you, did I think you've got, ah, you can only carry 40 of that, that's fine. Do you know what? Don't you worry about that. Yeah, you can carry 40, honey. Sorry, I thought it was 60. Um, because I thought, you know, 20 plus 20 was 60. So there you go, maths with pen. Right, so digestive. You go back over to the airport then, please. So you drop that off over there, and then you can go and do the boasting thing. But let's make sure you get over here first. It's a little bit of a trek. We can see you sort of over there, um, that sort of side of town. So it's going to take a while for you to run around here and pop over to this place. So there we go. You'll get there eventually. And I think I can see Digestive sprinting in. There we go. Come on, Digestive. Here we go. And in you pop. Right. So there we go. So now we can drop that honey off into here. And that means that they can make the lovely rose water over here if they would like to, which is very good as well. And that means that, yeah, we've got sort of Digestive at least doing something around the place. Right, Ulrika, just keep doing the whole sort of music playing thing. It's fun. We've got a great big pile of money, which is nice. How much do we need to become a free citizen? What do we get if we become a free citizen? We can build a well. We can build a rostrum. And we can do the trade mission things. Ah, because yes, when we become a free citizen, we get access to the far trade markets. Oh, that could be quite good. That could be very, very good. Hang on, can we have a henchman? We can have a henchman. Hang on. Do we want to get a henchman over here? That might be quite fun. How do we hire a henchman? That's a worker. That's a transporter. 
That's a henchman. 500 money. Yeah, I think. Let's get a henchman and set them up over here. That's so healthy. Um, yeah, let's do that, please. Yes, can we have that? So who have we got? You've got Yannicka, possibly. 15 years old. They've turned up with henchman's armour. That's good. That's a good thing. You're a henchman. You're wearing appropriate armour. Well done. Uh, the only thing is I kind of feel like you need some sort of weapon to go fighting with. Also, we've hired a, uh, <laughs> we've hired a henchman with a strength of one. Good job. Go us. That, that's wonderful. Well done. Um, right. Come over here, please. Can you pop over to the market, please, henchman? Because that's just a bit rubbish, isn't it? You're, that's not going to help because you haven't got any weapons. And digestive... Can you please return home? Hang on, send home. So send you home. Okay, right, this is good, this is good. So let's get the henchman over here set up with some proper kind of weapons and armor and such like. So let's go to uh, weapons and armor. So what do we give you? We want you to be good. I don't think maybe a long sword's quite required. How about a rapier plus three attack power? 25 damage, one defense, and a reputation bonus as well. Or a short sword. Four attack power, two defense. What does a rapier do? Three attack power, one defense. Let's give you a short sword. Come on, we're being nice. We'll treat you with some of the bribery money that we've been given, which is always very welcome. Um, and we'll give you some leather gloves as well, because they can add to your sort of defense a tiny, tiny bit. There we go. I kind of feel like you're slightly better equipped to go and do defending now. Um, is there anything we can give you in terms of trinkets to make you a little bit sort of better? Um, you can have a beaker that does nothing at all. I mean, yeah, do we want to give you something that's going to make you a little bit... Yeah, reputation bonus. What does that do? That's plus 4% speed, a walking stick. Um, that's ability to learn. Yeah, that's for the kids. We should possibly think about investing in those at some point. Um, okay, I don't think there is anything immediately obvious that we need to give you right now that's going to really help you. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. You've, you've got weapons and armor. That's kind of what you need. So then how do we assign you to there? Do we just tell you to just go and stand in front of that building? Oh, look, we're healing somebody. Yeah, that's quite nice. So, um, yeah, is that what we do now? Do we just tell you to defend that building? Or are you inside that building? Um, hang on. Urgent and needs. That's you kind of recovering. Uh, attack, break bones, kill, steal, uh, guard building. That's what we want to do. This character will guard and defend a building against attacks and acts of sabotage. Yeah. So you defend that building then, please. Okay. I assume... Hang on. Hang on. Do you go inside to defend it? Can you come out for a second? Oh, no. There you are. Sorry, I thought you were inside. I do apologise. I'm messing you around something chronic. Uh, there you go. Go back to there. Right. And now you're just going to guard that building. Okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. There we go. We've hired our first henchman. And we've got somebody out here at so healthy healing somebody up, which is wonderful. And then we've got two people over here kind of manufacturing goods, which is great stuff. Okay, what's that? Level up building. What does that do? Here you can upgrade this building by one level. Okay, cost 50 influence. We've got one and a half thousand. Okay, can we do that? You don't have the necessary skills. Oh, I see. So that button there would turn this building into the next building. So like a hospital or whatever the next level up is. Oh, so we don't have to rebuild it. We can just have another one of... You can yeah, press that button instead of having another separate building. Oh, that's quite good. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Wonderful. We'll try and sort of do that at some point in the future. How near are we to getting the next levels of stuff? Uh, that we need a patrician, don't we? So we're a little way off that. However, uh, where was the other one we've got? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where was it? It's down here. Nah, bother. Patrician for that as well. And all of these are patrician as well, aren't they? Yeah, okay, right. The next big thing is become a patrician. Okay, got it, game. Apparently our reputation has diminished. What's going on there? The reputation status of your dynasty with the inhabitants of Old Town, of Visby, is now hostile. This will affect the motivation of your employees in the business located in Old Town. Hang on, isn't this Old Town? Oh dear. What's happened there? That must have been somebody targeting us. We just made 289 money. Hurrah. That must be a target on us. Um, okay. Hostile. So Old Town. Hang on a minute. Old Town. Hostile? It looks okay to me, game. Um, yeah. Hansa Quarter doesn't look great, but that's a 36. That's looking pretty good. 
I'm not entirely sure they are hostile toward us. Uh, do you know what? If they are hostile, then do you know what? We'll just sing a nice song about it. There we go. Let's just go on the... Uh, <laughs> let's have a little go on the flump it and just, you know, really excite people and make them happy and make them realise that we are actually okay. And a little bit of a history lesson from this person here. Who is this? Bjorn the Town Crier is saying, Although outnumbered, the English under Duke John of Bedford were victorious in a great battle against the French at Venuel, possibly. This is how England deals with the French rebels. Oh, there you go. Thank you for that little piece of history, Town Crier Bjorn. And just taking a very quick look at the budget book for this year. So bear in mind, it's only eight o'clock in the morning. Um, so Healthy has spent no money at all, but has made one and a half grand, which is very good. Um, and the Loot and Flute has spent a tiny bit of money, but has made 324. Hey Nonny Nonny has made 331. Hairport spent nothing, made 455. Big and Bubbly spent 465, but has made 1,168. So overall, this sort of year, day, season, so in 1424, we've made 3,000 money already. That is wonderful stuff. That is very, very good going. I think what we might want to do is, yeah, storage is looking a little bit kind of cramped, isn't it? Can we go to add-ons for So Healthy and the two barber shops? and increase storage space. It's going to cost a grand a time, but I think it's probably worth doing. So we'll increase that, and then we'll increase storage over at the airport, and storage space over at Big and Bubbly. There we go. So a little bit of investment. Do you know what? Fire protection as well at the two, at the two um, barbers, because why not? There we go. Right. There we go, got more storage going on. Yeah, we can hold a little bit more stuff now, which is very handy indeed. Okay, excellent stuff. And we are down below eight grand again now. We could have possibly treated ourselves to a nice kind of step up the social ladder, but I think we'll get there. I think we just run time on now. I think possibly we might be at about eight grand by lunchtime, maybe? Oh, one of the employees has leveled up. Hang on a second, so who do we have? It's Lena, Lena has leveled up. Um, okay, Lena, dexterity. That's apparently very important. And I just realized digestive is just kind of hanging around at home. Oh, <laughs> digestive is bored. They've got an action going, which is bored. They're inside the residence and they're bored. I mean, you are you are a, a grown up person. You could go and, you know, do something of your own accord, but no, it's fine. You just sort of strop around here and lean against the wall, all moody and attitude -y. You are 17. That kind of does play out. Um, okay, so I think what we want you to do is we want you to start doing the whole sort of... Uh, hang on a minute, where are you? We have to employ you to the house, don't we? Hang on a minute. <laughs> Hire a work... I find this very odd. Hire a worker. Hire digestive and then digestive. Uh, can you just go and boast? all the time, just constantly boast about how great we are. We don't want you to go and do any of these other things because it's a little bit kind of pointless. So there we go. So that should get our influence ticking back up a bit, which could be very nice indeed. Um, and somebody got appointed to the office of town clerk. That's our kind of sort of uh, equal job. Oh yeah, and by lunch, sort of, what was that, two o'clock-ish? We should find out if we actually get the council informer job. Oh, that could be quite exciting. I hope we do get that one. And also, hang on, if we do get that, that means that we would be the sort of the highest sort of council positioned dynasty person. Because it looks like there's only er Erk, is that Erk Emilson down there? And us. We're the only two people from the dynasties in the game that are in council positions. Oh, OK, that's a bit surprising. Well, there we go. Let's come out of here. Hang on. How do we get out again? There. Um, hang on. Can we? Do I just want to leave. <laughs> Please let me out of the building. I'd, li I'd like to leave the building, please. I'm trapped inside that little house. Um, okay, right. I'll figure out how to get out of here first. And then when we're out of here, um, yeah, we'll then sort of tick time on. And um, yeah, see what the money's looking like at about lunchtime. Oh, the pest house is making so much money. They just made over 1,200 money right there. Two trades of about 800 and 400 just went through. That is wonderful stuff. I think it did say that Tindra... So our transporter is not doing anything right now. I imagine because they've met all the kind of storage criteria. So they're just kind of hanging around inside until they need to go out and buy some stuff. So yeah, this place does seem to be quite expensive to actually stock up with materials. But then when the actual goods are manufactured, they do sell for quite a hefty profit. Okay, that's very good. Um, somebody has leveled up. It's Matilda the Barber. You can have ooh, a point of dexterity. Why not? There we go. Um, opportunity for far trade. Yeah, we can't do anything about it. That's nice. How exciting. Um, yeah, I, it'd be good if we could do that. It'd be good if we could start getting into the whole long distance trading stuff. 
because I bet there is some good money to be made there. Hang on, let's go and see how much she spends. So yeah, 994 money she just spent on resources. And is she going back out again? I do not know. Ulrika, you're not singing or dancing or anything. Please, please perform, Ulrika. Go and do some more dancing. Somebody's leveled up. And it's one of our medics. Okie dokie. Hang on, slow time down a bit. Um, you can have... Oh, you've got no dexterity at all. It's very quite important to be relatively dexterous if you're trying to perform medical procedures. So yeah, you can become a little bit more dexterous. That seems like a sensible thing. Oh, and digestive has leveled up as well. Oh, that's good. Currently just sort of uh, boasting to that tree and the squirrel occupants of the tree about how great we are. But yeah, that's fine. Um, how about we give you... I mean, what are you? Level four. You might possibly get up to another level. I'm thinking maybe we give you a point of strength just to see what it does to the life candle. So let's do that. Don't know if it notches it up anymore or if it slows down the kind of burning of the life candle. There we go. Somebody else has leveled up. It's another one of the doctor peoples. Yep, dexterity. Again, let's get that up. I imagine the other doctor person is going to level up relatively soon because the other seems to have done so. So there we go. Oh, hang on. Ah, this is good. So Tindra has leveled up. We give you a point of charisma. Bonus when bargaining is currently 9.5. Let's get that up a bit more. 9.75. So we should get our goods a tiny, tiny bit cheaper, which is wonderful. Okay, it's about 25 minutes past one. In about half an hour, we will find out if Ulrika has got the job as a council informer. Now, there are no other applicants, so I imagine it's a kind of foregone conclusion. But you know what? We will wait and see. We'll be very patient and we'll see. Oh, there you go. And you did a bit of song as well. Wonderful. Well done. Bit of money coming in. Very nice. Yeah, do some more singing. And then hopefully you can celebrate with a little bit of uh, little bit of singing as you become a council clerk or no, council informer. And there we go. The candidature was successful and Ulrika is now a council informer. Look at that. So we're now... Erk Emilson's boss, which is good. And of course, now we're in this position, that opens up these jobs here because we need to be in kind of this position to get into the next tier upwards. So it might not be too long until we, you know, we could possibly go and become a customs officer or something like that. I like the sound of all these. Okay, there we go. Wonderful stuff. So, yep, it's working. Very nice. Or Rika's sort of, you know, slowly stepping up the uh, sort of the fancy council sort of uh, ladder over here. Now, in terms of the social ladder... Is it worth investing in free citizen right now? I think it might be. I think we've got enough money to do so. We've got a little bit of money left over if we did this right now. We'd have about a thousand money. And it is only coming up to three o'clock in the afternoon. Let's do it. Let's become a free citizen. Okay, we can now have another business, which is good. However, more importantly, potentially more excitingly, we can build a rostrum and we can have a well. And I've got no idea why we'd want those things. So let's have a look. Why can we build those things? <laughs> like, why would we want a well? What does it do? What does it do? I've got no idea. Why would we need one of these? Um, the inhabitants can draw water from here and it costs 500 monies. It can be built in a city or in the village. And a rostrum is 5,000. Oh, that's really expensive. The rostrum owner can step on it and speak to the citizens, ensuring that they are seen and heard all the way to the back of the audience. Oh, OK, that's quite good. That's quite good. It's very expensive, but it's quite good. I'm tempted to build a well for no apparent reason other than we can. Let's build a well. <laughs> it's got a perfect, perfect name. I have no need to change that name. This is not a toilet. Yep. OK, let's have that. I mean, I don't know why we need a well. Let's put it... Oh, there's a table and chairs there. That's going to, that's going to ruin the pub. I don't want that. Well, let's put it opposite our little sort of... Oh, hang on. Let's put it in that gap. That might be quite nice. We'll put the well just there. Yes. Okay. We've built a well for no readily apparent reason. I don't quite know why we'd need this well. <laughs> it's called This Is Not A Toilet. Hopefully people will abide by that. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's move time on very quick and just see what we can do with the well. Oh, the Brodersons have got a new title. Hang on a second. What are the Brodersons now? They are, oh, they're patricians as well. I was one step ahead. Um, okay, so the well is complete. Yay. <laughs> We've got a well and we can get water from it. 
Good. There we go. We've got a well. I mean, is that exciting? It seems like a fun thing to have. And our doctor over here, so Bent, has finally leveled up. Okay, good job. And yeah, you can have a point of dexterity as well. Clearly dexterity, not a big thing they give our sort of uh, the doctors of Visby. But there we go. So point of that, 91.5% productivity. That is very good. And Ulrika, I notice that you're not doing any singing or dancing. It'd be good if we could just automate this without her having to work in one of the places. It'd be really good if we could just go, there you go, right, you just get on with playing music all the time. Apparently someone doesn't like us. Well, that doesn't sound very nice at all. At a church service, Frederick Broderson sniffs at you seemingly coincidentally before making a face, okay? It would seem that your new eau de toilette does not appeal to the Broderson family's refined noses. Well, I do apologise. It's our new sort of range that we got from our well over here. <laughs> it's called uh, eau de well water. Uh, you know, it's clearly not a toilet, so hopefully people haven't used it as a toilet, or that would kind of, you know, impair the scent of our wonderful new sort of eau de toilette a little bit. But um, yeah, it came from the well, so I think that's more their problem than ours, to be honest. Do you know, I didn't go and check out anything about our council informer role. What do we actually get for being in this job? Hang on a minute. So, we get 750 money per day, season, year, whatever, and 125 influence as well. That's quite good. That is not bad at all. Okay, that's very exciting. Now, can we start looking at these jobs over here now? No, because they're all taken right now. Okay, we'll have to keep our eye on that and make sure that, yeah, if the tax collector job or the customs officer job or even the arsenal master or dungeon master jobs, if they come sort of, you know, vacant, I think we should possibly think about applying. What has happened to all the other dynasties? Because they were doing pretty well on this kind of, uh, on the council board, if you like. And they've all kind of dropped off except Eric down here. Who's applying for the council assistant job? Ah, there we go. There we go. Thorge Broderson is trying to go for that. Ah, as is Ola Taralfsson. Oh, there's a bit of kind of direct dynasty conflict there. So the Brodersons and the Taralfsons are going for that one job there, which would put them equal with us. But that's fine. We can cope with that. That's okay. We're their friends after all and all that kind of stuff. So that's good. Uh, ooh. Hang on a minute, hang on. <laughs> Is somebody else about to give us a huge big pile of cash? It sure does seem that way. Hang on a second, it's Ola Taralfsson. Okay, does that... Hang on, is she trying to sort of get into... That's her, isn't it? Does this somehow influence that? Does this influence her sort of getting that job possibly? Or does it just give them 500 sort of influence straight up? I mean, that, if we get given that huge pile of money, that's going to be very exciting. It's going to be very handy. I heard once that gold helps loosen tongues. Would you agree with me? Um, yeah, the right amount of gold can work wonders. I'm all ears, says Ulrika. Hmm, yes, I'm certainly interested in this pile of money you'd like to give me. Um, could you just hand it over now? Because I've got a perfect idea of how to invest it. And there we go. Five grand. Okay, right, now we're up to 8,608. So we're back above kind of free citizen level. So now what do we need for patrician? 12,000 money. Although that doesn't seem that distant now. It doesn't seem that far away. Now people keep giving us money. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, okay, right. I think what we do is then let's go over to our, uh, let's find one of these. There we go. So minstrel tent, go to here and let's get a final person. Let's get a final worker because in the long run, that will earn us some money. So there we go and hire a worker. Uh, yes, please. Absolutely. And do you know what? They can go on the stage. Let's get Hack on, which is a wonderful name. So Hack on there can go on the stage. There we go. And then if we go to the next one, hey, nonny, nonny, we do exactly the same. Yep. Get a new worker. Come back here. Hire the worker. Yes, please. Yep, and you can go on stage as well. So we've got Sigurd. Okay, wonderful. So you can go to there. Okay, so now we've got four people in total doing concerts. Four people going around the place playing music, as well as Ulrika. Um, I think that place has maxed out. So the airport can't have any more workers, which is fine. I think Big and Bubbly can't have any more workers. Um, so Healthy possibly can get more workers, but it needs to become a level two building, which I think, yeah, it does turn it from a pest house into a hospital or whatever the next one up is. Okay, that's fine. Do you want to give us anything? How about we treat them to some fire protection? Because we can, because why not? And building security as well. Let's spend a little bit of that free money that we just got given, because that's always very welcome. Um, yeah, okay, wonderful. Thank you for the free pile of money, fellow dynasty members. 
oh, this person over here is talking about us. I've heard that Ulrika Biscuits is the new council informer. Finally, somebody with the relevant experience. Ulrika Biscuits? Decent woman. Yes, thank you, you two. This is wonderful. So they're not dynasty people. They're just two random folks around the town. So Aleph Stenholm and Kjartan. Sir Nameless Kjartan there. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad they're kind of being nice about us. That's very nice to hear. And how is our reputation doing over there now in Old Town? It's on 34, which is much, much healthier than it once was. Okay, well done, Ulrike. You've done some good kind of musical PR work. Okay, one of our employees has leveled up. Ah, okay, so Torstein the Minstrel has leveled up. Um, have a point of dexterity. Why not? Productivity goes up quite a bit. That's very good. And there is a vacant office. Um... Oh, okay. But it's not one that we need to care about. Okie doke. Right, that's fine. I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to run time on quite quick. Let's go and find Ulrika first. I'll go back to over here. So Ulrika's over here. Oh, we just spent a massive pile of money on some goods over here. It's um, Tindra the Transporter. Um, I did want to get to about 7,000 money possibly. And then I think if we get to that point, we should build one of the... Um, sort of, uh, what are they called? Platform things. What was it? Hang on, what was it? A rostrum. That's it. I think we should build a rostrum. I think that could be very exciting indeed. What's happening over here? Is that building being upgraded or repaired or something? Um, yeah, I think that'd be quite good. And then I think we can do stuff on the rostrums. I'm pretty sure that we can do that. Oh, that person over there is being bribed. Look, they're doing the whole bribing thing. Oh, they're not a dynasty person, are they? are just a regular person. But yeah, okay, right. Wow, everyone's at it. <laughs> everyone's doing some bribery. Would anybody like to come and give us a great big pile of money? Because that'd be wonderful. I'm open for bribe. I mean, friendly, voluntary contributions of the monetary variety. Oh, the money is flying up. Look at that. We're almost at seven grand. So I don't know quite what's earning that money. It must be over here. Hang on. Can we go and have a look at the budget book, please? Put that on to today. Um, okay, so So Healthy has spent quite a lot of money. They have spent quite a bit of cash, but they've made some good money. Um, the loot and flute is actually down on money. But yeah, we did just spend a load of money on kind of upgrading it and such like. The same for Hey Nonny Nonny. But it's down here. Big and Bubbly. Big and Bubbly is making absolutely huge, big piles of money. And I think, yeah, we have spent quite a lot of money on investment on things. So it does look a little bit bad in terms of expenditure. But I think tomorrow, when we don't need to kind of do so much upgrading of all our buildings... That will look very good. We will have a great big pile of profit. We are just about at the point where we could build a rostrum, but it is getting quite late in the day. And I'm wondering if this is the best time to build a rostrum. Do you know what? Let's build a rostrum anyway. Let's do it, shall we? Um, this matter is serious. It wants to call it by default. Uh, no, let's not go for that. Let's not go for that. Um, hang on a minute. Let me think of what we could call our rostrum. Let's call it Life's a Stage. I don't quite think that line has been written yet in the year 1424, but that's fine. We'll beat Shakespeare to it. So there we go. Life's a Stage. Um, oh, they're tiny. Oh, it's a teeny tiny little thing. I thought it was massive. Oh, OK. Hang on. Where can we put that then? Can we fit that over near the market somewhere? And then we can get a great big load of people kind of listening to us. I'm kind of tempted to put it over there, but I do feel a bit bad that it's going to kind of flatten that table where people might enjoy a nice kind of drink or whatever. So I think it's not going to fit anywhere around here, is it? Because these are all sort of market spots. So it's not going to fit anywhere in there. Well, the result of a vote has come in. Hooray, I suppose. I don't know. Um, let's put it, I think, yeah, let's put it over here as near as we can get it to just there. So we'll pop that rostrum just there. So yes, please, we're going to pay a massive amount of money for this thing here. I don't even know what this does. The result of the vote is that, um, oh, were we, sp were we supposed to have voted on this? Oh, <laughs> hang on. I kind of feel like we should have done something about this. So pickpocketing is illegal. Paralysis potions are illegal. Ghostly fog is illegal. And contraband is legal, apparently. Okay, slightly weird laws going on. Um, yeah, let's get this thing built then. Let's put this thing together and then let's see what we can do with it. Can we make any use of this at all? Right, so all the businesses will have shut down for the day. That's fine because it's late. Right, a new building has been finished. Hooray. There it is. I, I fail to see how that cost 5,000 monies. <laughs> we built this for 2,000, didn't we? Hang on, hang on. That doesn't make any sense at all. So the pest house cost 2,000 monies. It's a multi-story building with many rooms. It's got tables and boxes and carts. It's got lighting on the inside. It must have stairs and supports and a roof and everything. That cost two grand. Um, this very small, fairly rubbishy looking wooden stage cost five grand. 
Maybe we have to pay a permit or something. I don't know. So what can we do with it? What exactly do we do with this? Well, Rika, um, yeah, how do we do anything with this now? So you've got a rostrum. Can you do something with it? So present a concert. Can you do that now? No, you can't do that. It's got to be on a minstrel's tent. You could. Ah, hang on. Can you stand on the rostrum and perform? It seems like it kind of focuses in on the rostrum. Uh, okay. Well, let's see what that does. Or Rika can come over here. No, you're standing in front of the rostrum. Okay. <laughs> that's not exactly what I had in mind, but okay. That, that's something at least. So you stand there. We seem to have gone up to four grand. Oh, there's custard cream. Hello, custard cream. Um, right. So you do some playing, I think. Is the year going to end? No, there we go. Right. So we got a bit of music out of it. That's quite nice. I found a coin today, says that person. Um, there must be something in here where we can go on a rostrum. Hang on, it's got to be one of these kind of things in here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Right, okay, so they can go and boast about their achievements on a rostrum. Okay, so rather than just going around the place to anywhere and boasting about their achievements, so, you know, going and standing in the middle of nowhere, going and shouting at a tree or the grass or whatever we've seen, or a cow, they can instead go and stand on this rostrum here. Okay, right, that makes sense. Now, does that mean, hang on a minute, if we go back to our house for a second, uh, is it one that takes us back to our house? Yes, okay, so now we've got a rostrum. Does a special option appear in here where we can go and shout about our achievements on a rostrum? Um, it doesn't look like it, does it? So have I got to repeatedly keep saying after they finish boasting, go and do it again? Because that would be a little bit tedious, wouldn't it? Um, okay, hang on a minute, digestive. It looks like you have only just kind of started doing that, so... Can you go about the place? Oh, we can do trade missions and things. Oh, that's very exciting. Hang on a minute. Um, go and boast about your achievements on a rostrum. Um, yeah, that one there, please. Okay, it might take you a while to get to that point, but I think that's got to be good, hasn't it? And they can just stand over there and shout about how great they are. <laughs> it's essentially just a place to shout about how great we are, but it's more static than mobile, which I'm not entirely sure is the best thing. I guess it's in a good place. I assume it's in a very, very good position. But there we go. Right, let's uh, let's get digestive all the way over here. It might take a little while for them to arrive. OK, I think the year is going to end. There we go. It's now summer of the year 1426. Um, Ulrika is now 43 years old. So time is catching up with Ulrika a little bit. But she's still got it. Look at that. Well done, Ulrika. Still playing the music. Right, so go over here. Money is looking absolutely fabulous. I don't quite know how that money's coming in, but it's very welcome. And um, yeah, where's Digestive? Digestive is nearly here. Digestive can stand on this podium and shout about how brilliant we are. And there you are. Okay. <laughs> yep. There we go. Oh, that's wonderful. So now you can just stand on that stage and just sort of shout at people and wave your arms around and do the Macarena. Okay. That is good. I'm very happy with that. Oh, and people are listening. Ah, hang on. Hang on. This might be worth watching. Um, okay, well, Rika, very quickly, just do some music stuff there. Let's go over and watch this. So when this finishes, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Let's slow time down for it. Oh, there you go. It finished. Um, the rostrum is closed, but we did get eight XP from it. And now where are you going? You're exiting the building. And what do you do now? Do you get back up on it again or not? And then you just kind of stand there. That's not great, is it? Hang on. And we can't go into that. We can't issue. <laughs> That's really annoying. So we can't sort of double click the rostrum and say, can you just go and do that forever? We have to tell you to do that every single time. Oh, that's a bit of a faff, isn't it? Oh, okay. That That's not quite as exciting as I thought it might be. I'd rather have Digestive going around the place and doing that automatically, rather than us having to go and tell you to go there every single time and shout about things. Okay, never mind. Well, there we go. There we go. It's done for now. And then we've got the, we've got Ulrika and Digestive now. Look at that. Working in tandem. Ulrika. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. Is somebody giving us a huge pile? Oh, no. I don't know what happened there. Something weird happened there. And this person is eating bread in front of us. Okay, that's fun. Oh, and they don't like us for some reason. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Something weird happened. Um, okay, so what I think we'll do is we will finish up for now. Because I think we have done an awful lot of good stuff. Money is now coming in very nicely indeed. And if we lay off the upgrades for today, I think we should be able to see a great big load of profit tomorrow. Well, in fact, today, of course, this sort of year. So uh, I think that's what we'll do. We'll try not to spend so much on upgrades. And we'll spend you know, some money on resources and all that kind of stuff. But you know, I think now... 
we'll just leave it a little while and I think we need to get up to patrician status. If we get to that, that unlocks a whole load of wonderful things. All these things will unlock across here, which is all very good. So that's really handy. And then, um, and then, yeah, of course we get access to more fancy kind of, uh, sort of knowledge stuff over here as well, which is all very good. But yes, as well, we can now go and do trade missions. So maybe we send, say, custard cream off on a trade mission somewhere or maybe digestive, possibly. We send one of you lot off on a trade mission. We can do some long distance trading. We can do all that kind of stuff now. So we'll have a look at that next time as well. But yeah, we'll finish up for the moment, see how we get on next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvelous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in the Guild 3. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Let's follow Matt Spence, aka Duke Newcomb as he chases after a dirty villain. There are a lot of angry people still. I don't know why. Never ever employ him, he's terrible. This place is full of rats. Timothy Robles with your kind of crazy eyes. You have tea leaves in one of my shops. 